Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio from AEC Server Stack, and today what we're going over is how to easily and quickly troubleshoot safety sensors in a gas furnace. So right here we have our flame rollout switch, we have another flame rollout switch right here, we have a thermal limit switch, and I'm going to show you how to test those with your multimeter. To test a component, you can disconnect the wires and check the resistance value across the contacts to see if it's open. Right now this switch is closed and we read 0.0, .0 ohms of resistance. So we're on our resistance setting and we're measuring across. And if you read a well, then that means that the switch is open. But what I really wanna show you is how to quickly test these with just voltage. And I wanna show you where you're gonna be measuring your hot and where you're gonna be measuring your common at with the meter. In order to explain how to test voltage at these locations, I first want you to notice that at your gas valve, you have a uh, ground wire, which is actually your common wire. So you have two wires here and one's your hot, one's your common. If you notice, this right here is actually attached to the ground. And so I just want to show you that basically anytime you're testing these switches right here, you can place one probe on the ground because the common from the transformer does connect to the ground. So right now we have our multimeter set on voltage, our furnace power is on, and we have one of our probes just sitting right on like a hole in the ground. And basically we're going to be measuring the voltage over on the flame rollout switch. So we measure 28.62, we're going to measure on this side, and 28.62. So you noticed basically no voltage drop, and if there's no voltage drop, then that means that, that the contacts inside of the switch are good, and you have very close to 0, 0.0 ohms of resistance across there. So we already know that that switch is closed because we've got voltage on both sides. So if we just leave this right in here, right on the ground, any ground, we can just go right around and measure. So 28.5. 5.8, so we know we're good there. And then we can come right over here to this flame rollout switch and we measure 28.62 and we measure 28.62. So right there, we just confirmed that all three of those safety switches are closed. Now these safety sensors have power going through them all the time, anytime that the furnace has power to it even if it's not in heating mode. So if it's in air conditioning mode or the thermostat's in the off position, you're still going to have power going through here to make sure that there's not a flame in here when there's not supposed to be. As well, during heating mode, these sensors right here are the flame rollout switches. So if there's a crack in the heat exchanger, the flame may be popping out like this. And what's going to happen is it's going to allow these to trip. And that's a major safety concern because that would basically tell you that you have carbon monoxide in the building if you have a cracked heat exchanger, which you need to verify. But that's why there is these little manual resets instead of an automatic reset to close the switch back down again. This right here is a thermal limit switch, and this is in here monitoring the temperature of the heat exchanger area. So maybe if the blower motor is not turning on, or maybe it's too low of a fan speed, or maybe your, your furnace is over firing over here, that's going to go ahead and open up. Now we're going to test our pressure switch, and I'm going to turn the furnace on in heating mode. And I'm going to use one probe right on the ground, and the other right on one of the contacts. And you see that we're reading right about 28 volts right there. And right about 28 volts again. So it's 27.99 and 27.99, so that tells you that that pressure switch is closed. The only time that the pressure switch is going to have power across it is any time that the control board is sending power to the inducer motor. So it's just testing to see if the inducer motor is working, if it's, if it's running, it's, it's pulling the correct pressure, and your condensate line is not clogged. Uh, right over here you have your flame sensor. Now that is powered all the time. So that's just testing for a flame all the time. And once again, you can just check it right here with your ground and right over at your, your rod, and you see that we're sending 108 volts right now. And you're gonna check the flame rectification process when there is a flame, and I have other videos on that down in the description section below, so make sure you check those out. But just keep in mind that that flame rod, you never wanna touch that while there's power onto the furnace. So you wanna make sure that the power is off, and the flame rod right here is a flame sensor, but it really all it is is just a stainless steel rod uh, with a little isolating ceramic piece here. So if you take this off, you should just be able to clean it with non-soap steel wool or a dollar bill, it's fine. And then just put it back in again 
and there really should be no reason that you have to replace this sensor unless it's one of those tiny ones and it's just, it's just maybe melted or, or bent or corroded. Make sure to check out our website and all the free resources there and check out the quizzes so you can test your knowledge on gas furnaces and kind of see where you're at. We've got free articles, free quick tips, we've got calculators and Q&A. Also make sure to check out our book on air conditioning. It's the Refrigerant Charging and Service Procedures for Air Conditioning book. And we also have a thousand question workbook. So it's a self-study guide that comes along with the answer key. And also we have quick reference cards. You can also check out all the reviews posted over on Amazon. And those links are down in the description section below. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.